Thanks to our friends at NOLA for sponsoring this video. We're just a few weeks away from the release of iPadOS 26 to the general public, and Apple has finally added the journal app to the iPad. It's been on the iPhone, which for me is a non-starter because I'm not going to type on that dinky little keyboard. But today we're talking about the iPad, and in this short video, I'll give you a look at how to set the app up, how it works, and why you might want to use it. Hi, my name is Rich and I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad, you know, without going nuts. No complicated deep dive stuff here. I leave those videos to others. So today is all about Apple's free journal app coming to the iPad soon. At the time of this video, we're only about a month away from the general release of iPad OS 26. And so I thought this would be a good time to take a look at how this app works. Okay, please stay with me for just a minute while I tell you a little backstory to this video. First, let me be clear. When I was a kid, I never kept a diary. I'd never heard of journaling until I was in my 40s, and frankly to me, journaling sounded like another word for diary. I don't have anything against diaries. They just held no interest for me. And believe it or not, not until I sat down with my 95-year-old mother just a few months ago did the idea even catch on with me. Mom opened up a desk drawer and pulled out a lot of calendars, some of them decades old. I asked her why she kept them, and she said she just jotted down things she wanted to remember in those little squares on the paper monthly calendar. There was nothing detailed there, maybe a note that she and Dad painted the living room, or maybe a note on the day she planted beans in her garden, or took a trip to visit me, you know, stuff like that. And honestly, as I gazed over the years, it was so interesting to see the things she deemed important enough to write down. And all of these little things painted a lifelong journey, even though the notes were just snippets. She also had a spiral notebook with similar dated entries. So that got me to thinking about the journal app and how I might best use it. But first, let me tell you how this thing works. When you first open the app, you're greeted with a simple interface. The top left has two main sections entitled Insights and Places. Tapping on Insights provides you with a statistical overview of how you're using the journal app. Streaks and entries, photos added to your entries, and a calendar where you can choose a particular date to see what you've entered. The Places tab gives you the physical location of where your entries were made or a photo was taken. It's a nice touch. And if you don't want to see either of these, you can tap on the three dots, tap on edit, and then uncheck what you don't want to see. They're not too intrusive to me, so I just leave them up. Hey, now is a good time to tell you about today's sponsor, NOLA. NOLA is an award-winning mattress brand known for its cooling technology, exceptional pressure relief, and a long-lasting durability. And it's conveniently shipped to your door for free. It came in a box, which made it much easier to get to our bedroom on the second floor of our house. When Nola reached out to me, my wife and I were looking for a new mattress. We both wanted it to be comfortable and firm. I sleep on my side to relieve back pain and pressure and needed the support this mattress provides. We both wanted a mattress that provided more cooling than our existing mattress, so we chose the Nola Evolution Firm model in queen size, and we love it. All Nola mattresses are made to order at their facility in Arizona. They do their own coiling, foam pouring, foam cutting, lamination, and sewing in-house, ensuring quality at every step. And honestly, that means a lot when you know you'll be spending your nights on this mattress for years to come. The best part about all of this is that NOLA delivers your mattress right to your door. Again, you know, as I just mentioned, with free shipping. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, NOLA has a 120-night sleep trial, so you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. NOLA mattresses have a limited lifetime warranty, so no worries there. So here's the real deal. I sleep better, cooler, and more comfortable. I wake up rested, and I love my NOLA mattress, and I think you will too. If you're looking to upgrade your sleep, head to nolamattress.com and use code RICHBOLIN to get an extra $50 off your NOLA mattress. This is an additional discount on top of what's being offered on site, so check them out while you can. Thanks to our friends at NOLA for their support of this channel. And now back to the video. The app comes with a default journal with the journal app icon. This is a permanent journal, meaning you cannot delete it. 
Any other journal you create, you can delete, just not this journal. To create a journal, just tap the plus to the right of journals. It's as simple as giving your journal a name, choose a color and an icon, and you're good to go. Now you can make entries in that journal. So let me step back to mom for one second. This is where I realized I could have as many journals as I wanted. And to me, they're not so much a diary as a record of things I want to keep track of. Some are pretty utilitarian, like woodworking and home maintenance. But, you know, I do like to keep track of when I replaced the air conditioning unit or repaired the roof. I like to keep track of when I built certain pieces of furniture, too. The other journals are more personal in nature, like family and work, and, you know, I think you get the idea. After you've created your journal or journals, if you've created more than one, to make an entry, just tap the plus in the upper right corner, enter a title to your entry, and write to your heart's content. You can do this with the on-screen keyboard, a physical keyboard like the Apple Magic Keyboard Folio, or, as I've been doing more and more, using my Apple Pencil to write the entry. I love having this choice. There's a menu bar at the top of the entry. The first icon is for journaling suggestions. You'll need an iPhone for this, and I've not really used this feature yet. You can also add a photo from your photo library, Use your iPad camera to add a photo to your entry. You can add your location by tapping the location icon and even record your voice and add that to an entry. The last icon is a way to enter how your mood is at that moment. I might be wrong, but I don't think that feature was added for my generation. To edit an entry you've already added, just tap edit in the upper right corner, make any changes you'd like to make, and then tap the check mark to finish up. To delete an entry, simply slide from right to left on the journal entry and tap delete. When you delete an entry, it goes into the recently deleted trash can and you can recover it from there if you want to place it back in your journal. So as you can see here, I've added about a half a dozen different journals covering the things I'd like to track. Like mom, I only make entries on things I want to remember. Some of those entries will be helpful like when I replace the roof. Others will just be interesting to look at years down the road. And all of these entries are just a few sentences at most. So far, this is beginning to take root with me. I guess we'll see a year from now if I'm still messing around with this app. There are a number of other features that I've not covered, but this video is designed to just be an introduction to the journal app. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you found this quick look at the journal app helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you journal. I'd like to know. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.